Coming to you with another one. Uh, this video, Catch Clean and Cook, is going to be some fish that most people do not like and they have nothing good to say about Jack Crevel. Now, I wanted to put the gossip to rest, test the theory that it is how you prepare it and cook it that really matters. So, I'm going to show you how I clean it, prepare it, prep it, and cook it. And I've seen a lot of catch and cook videos on these guys. People say that they are nasty. Some people say they are delicious. Me, I just think it's on the person's particular taste when it comes to fish, if they even like fish, and how you clean them, removing the bloodline and making sure that you uh, brine them. Okay, I'm going to try it a couple of different ways. I'm going to try with a belay knife, just so I can see if, <laughs> okay. That's actually not as bad. Is they made it sound. The meat's not that dark. Pretty sure there's a bloodline though. It's not too bad. I'll clean that up in a little bit. Wash that blood off. As you see here, that is a load of blood in their spine right there. Not bad. I was expecting a lot worse. This is right here is what people don't like right here, and I'll show you how to clean that off. Okay, one down. Oh, it's really bony fish. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and take that rib off. Probably not gonna keep any of that bottom. There you go. Not too bad. It's 
As long as you get that bloodline off of there. You're not going to have a lot of fish, a lot of meat from this catch because they were so small. But in my experience, smaller fish taste better than the larger ones because they didn't live as long. They didn't have enough time to get mercury buildup or any other nasties. And that is what we have left from all those fillets. A little time consuming, but you get all that nasty off of there, and I am positive that fish will taste good. Okay, now for my trick. A lot of people don't do this, but me, I swear by it. When I catch wild fish, because I feed a lot to my kids, I always brine it. This is a mixture of water, a few tablespoons of salt, and maybe a cap full of cooking vinegar. I like red wine. So what I'll do, I'll let this soak overnight in the fridge. Guaranteed to pull any extra blood out of that fish making it taste so good. Hey guys, it's the next day. Uh, fish have been soaking salt water overnight and uh, I've decided to do something of a stuffed squash. So it's gonna be a Jack Crevel stuffed squash. I am marinating the uh, Jack Revelle in a mixture of brown sugar, garlic, pepper, soy sauce, a little bit of water because I'm going to do a uh, kind of like a, a smoking to this fish on my little grill. Okay, the coals look ready. I'm using mesquite wood chips. I made sure to smoke them so they don't catch on fire. Get a nice smoke going. Top going. I'm using another sheet with aluminum foil and olive oil so the fish do not stick. Okay, there's a real good smoke going. I got my marinated Jack Crevel. Been marinating for like 30 minutes. Don't want to overpower the fish. <laughs> flavor. Alright, and we're going to cover that, let it smoke for about 40 minutes, and then check on it. That smells good. 
right now while the fish is smoking. I'm gonna prep the acorn squash. This is one of my favorite squash. That and butternut squash. As we have, take the seeds out. to 400 degrees. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes. I'm gonna check it. Oh, wow. Yeah, they look done. They look done. Time to do the taste test. This is Jack Ravel. I'm not gonna lie, this tastes really good, especially smoked and marinated in brown sugar, garlic, pepper, and soy sauce. Very good. Okay, what I'm gonna do with this smoked Jack Crevel is shred it. Because we are going to mix it with the stuffing to stuff the squash. Another thing, if you guys wanted to make fish dip out of this, please do not listen to all the all the gossip out there about oh it's nasty, it's this, it's too fishy. And guess what? I love the taste of fish, and with a little bit of TLC on the cleaning and a little bit of Preparation, a little bit of brine, this ends up being a very good fish. Okay, another way I'm gonna try the Jack Cuvel is gonna deep fry some. I got equal parts flour, cornmeal, and I have some garlic pepper in there for seasoning. And I mixed a little bit of butter and mustard in the marinade from the smoked Cuvel. To these pieces of meat. So this is going to be the second type way I cook this. Squash have been cooking, They're still pretty hot. Okay, you don't want to cook them too much so the uh, husk doesn't get too soft. You can't scoop the squash out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take these foil off of them. I 
oil off of them and let them cool down a little bit. Okay, the squash is cooked. A little cool down, still hot. Oh my goodness. So what I'll do, I'll take a spoon and spoon this squash out. Wash out. Hey, okay, I got all the prepping done. I got rice, I got the fish, got the onions, got the uh, squash. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add it all together in the mixing bowl. Uh, probably not so many onions. And then I'm going to mix it. A nice mix. Okay. A nice mix going on. No one's not mixing until everything is covered in the squash. Okay. So now, you take the husks of the squash and you just fill them back up. Fill them back up. Just like that. Got our pan. This you can use as a side for another meal. We got any leftover stuff. So we got the squash. All right. Okay, and the top and to top it off, we're gonna do a layer of cheese. Okay, a real light layer of cheese, and then you top it off with your preferred seasoning. I'll do with Lowry seasoning salt, just a little tiny bit. All right. Okay, everything's prepped and ready. And I'm going to put it in the oven just for a few minutes, about 10 to 15 minutes, cooking fish sticks and fries for the kitties. All right. Now for the fried Jack Crevel. I already tested and approved the smoked Crevel. It was very good. I don't know why people are crying about, oh, they're no good, they're too fishy. Uh, uh, uh. If you prepare it right, grind it a little bit like you would do any wild game that's bloody, <laughs> it should taste really good. So what I'm going to do is take these fillets and lightly coat, coat them. I do not want to get too much breading on these fillets. Okay. And trust me, if you catch a Jack Crevel, keep it. 
Just take a little bit more time to prepare and cook it. Got my little niblets. I'm only going to cook these for about three to four minutes. heavy fish like any any jack or tuna really dense fish and let those cook for about three and a half four minutes okay it's been about four minutes they are floating and golden crispy what oh as good as fish as I've ever seen I say, oh, why aren't you uh, draining the oil? Because I'm unhealthy and I love oil. <laughs> okay, I got the um, leftover squash stuffing with the Jack smoked Jack Crevel. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Hmm. Okay. Time for a taste test. Alright, time to taste test. We're gonna get a big piece. Get a lot of that fish meat. A little brown meat. Not too bad. Oh my goodness. Folks, this is the truth. It tastes better than bluegill or bass. This is a good fish, especially prepped, seasoned, and cooked the right way. Mm. So good. Okay, this is the kids taste test. Here you go, Kenna. Go ahead, try it. You too, Matthias. You like it? That's Jack Crevel. You guys... You like that fish? Really good. I know it's good because you usually don't eat what you don't like. Mm. You have it. The kids ate it and they loved it. And everybody knows you can't make a kid eat anything they don't like. All right. Whoa. The stuffed Jack Crevel squash is done. Look at that. I'm going to let this cool down for a few minutes and then the taste test is coming up next. Alright, here's a finished product. Oh, it doesn't look really good. Oh, that looks good. You don't know how good that is. Okay. Doesn't matter what fish it is. If you can fillet it, you can eat it. I'm telling you right now that any fish can be good if prepared and cooked properly. Kids are very blunt and honest. There we go. Here, Matthias, try it out. You like that? Mm -hmm. There you have it, folks. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this informational video about how to cook Jack Crevel because I'll tell you what, 
this fish is worth catching because it is phenomenal if you clean it and prepare it the right way because a lot of people don't have the patience to do what I had to do to make this a delicacy so I uh, guarantee there's going to be a lot more Jack Gravel coming into my house because I'm going to target them and I'm going to clean them and cook them. Until next time, this is Triple C signing off. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow and like.